So we have four nominees on today's agenda. We're going to hold two over for another week. Beth Robinson and Jennifer Sung will vote on the other two. We have two bipartisan bills on the agenda to be, which will be held over. The bills are 2428, the False Claims Amendments Act of 2021, introduced by Senator Grassley, Leahy, Kennedy, and myself. Senate Bill 2429, the Administrative False Claims Act of 2021, also introduced by Ranking Member Grassley and myself. Now I'll take a moment to speak about the two nominees who will be up for a vote this morning. First, we'll vote on Dr. Raul Gupta to lead the Office of National Drug Control Policy. As I noted at this hearing, Dr. Gupta would be the first medical doctor to serve in that position. He is certainly qualified. Among his extensive medical and public health experience, Dr. Gupta led West Virginia's response to the opioid crisis. His leadership helped the state turn the corner in fighting this devastating epidemic. It comes as no surprise then that his nomination has widespread bipartisan support. Those who were here will remember the solid testimony of both Senator Capito and Senator Manchin, who introduced Dr. Gupta, as well as West Virginia Governor Jim Justice, who weighed in on behalf of his nomination. Senator Capito noted in her introduction that Dr. Gupta brings, quote, a wealth of real world experience necessary to confront the realities of today's addiction crisis. I couldn't agree more. Dr. Gupta will serve our nation well as Director of National Drug Policy, Drug Control Policy, and I look forward to supporting his nomination. I urge my colleagues to do that as well. Finally, we'll be voting on Elizabeth Preloger's nomination to serve as the next U.S. Sol Solicitor General. Ms. Preloger is quite simply an outstanding appellate advocate. She has argued nine cases in the Supreme Court and filed hundreds of merits briefs, amicus briefs, and petitions for cert. While her credentials are impeccable and her advocacy record impressive, which stands out even more about Ms. Preloger is her commitment to providing unbiased legal advice, her dedication to safeguarding the role of career attorneys within the department, and her demonstrated ability to advance legal arguments separate and apart from her own beliefs. As I noted at the hearing, Ms. Preloger has served in the Office of Solicitor General for both Democratic and Republican presidents. She's proven herself to be above partisan politics and has a desire to serve and uh, is, uh, has uh, fidelity to the rule of law. It's the same desire that led Ms. Preloger to join the Biden administration as acting Solicitor General, and the same fidelity to the rule of law that led Pre President Biden nominate her to this role. Ms. Preloger has tremendous support for those best know the Office of Solicitor General, 12 former Senate-confirmed acting as Solicitors General, including Ted Olson, Paul Clement, and Noel Francisco support her nomination, as do dozens of Supreme Court practitioners, many of whom served in Republican presidential nominees. I look forward to supporting her nomination today.